Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We're excited to have you all here, and we can't wait to share more about Unicamp with you all. So to start, we just have a question that we want you to reflect on. If you could be called anything you want, what name would you pick? Hey there, it's Mark. Are you enjoying your week of camp? Yeah, I am. It's one of the best weeks I've ever had. I never imagined camping this great. It's so woodsy. I'm so glad to hear. If you don't mind me asking, why do you pick Smart as your camp name? Well, I actually picked Smart as my camp name because no one's ever called me Smart before. And so I wanted to know what it's like to be called Smart. Wow, that's so cool. And that's why we use camp name. We want the chance for every person who goes to camp to be who they want to be. So up the mountain, you can be anyone. So yeah, to introduce ourselves, my name is not actually smart. My name is Hazelnut. And this is... Oh, I'm Starlight, and um, I will let everyone else introduce themselves. Hi, everyone. My name is Mercury. Cool. So a little bit about the history of Unicamp. Um, Unicamp was founded in 1934 as a depression era relief project. Um, where UCLA student volunteers uh, began a canned food drive. Um, and this food drive benefited the children and families living in what's now considered the Sawtell District. Um, and then in 1935, student volunteers invited these underserved youth to spend time at a summer resident camp in the mountains far away from the city. Unicamp's now considered the official charity of the students of UCLA and operates as an independently funded secular nonprofit organization linking the university students with the LA community. Next, we want to discuss the mission, values, and vision of camp. So for our vision, um, every camper and volunteer will embrace their individuality to lead positive change in their community and shape their own future. For our mission, um, UCLA Unicamp creates a fun residential camp experience for children from underserved communities and volunteer counselors through a connection with nature, relationship building and leadership development. Participants explore who they really are and who they might want to become. Um, for our values, we have four. Um, the first one is community. So most of what we call the Woodsy Magic of camp comes from the community we built with each other and with the camper as volunteers. Your session community is also your support network at camp to help out when you're having a rough day or to celebrate when you connect with a camper. Campers also practice social emotional skills like cooperation, self-regulation, and communication with their cabin community at camp. Our second is leadership. Everybody can be a leader in their everyday life, regarding of any role or position they have. We practice our leadership skills not only to make a great risk of camp, but also to have tools to bring down the mountain to make a positive change in our own community. Leadership and social and emotional skills are also highly valued by employers in nearly every industry. Our third value is service, um, which focuses on the growth and well being of our campers, regardless of whether or not we get anything in return. Um, it's always important to value the act of giving itself. And so most Unicamp volunteers find that the more they embrace this, the more they <laughs> end up unintentionally getting back from their experience. Um, and the fourth value is inclusion. So in order to accomplish our mission and build supportive communities, we have to be inclusive first and foremost. Um, when we embrace the individuality of each person, we grow more individually and as a team. Next, we're going to cover some expectations and responsibilities for our volunteer. The first one being um, all volunteers are required to attend training meetings and events 
and as well as your week of camp during the summer. Um, another responsibility is supervising campers ages 9 to 17 and keeping safety as a top priority and giving them opportunities to grow and to have fun. The next one is uh, meeting a fundraising goal of $450 in order to support um, campers who cannot afford to go up to camp. Um, and in addition to that, we will have a lot of like supports and training provided for you to meet these fundraising goals. You'll also build relationships with fellow volunteers, um, both from your session as well as from other sessions. Um, and create a supportive camp community. You will also be envisioning planning and executing, executing activities for small groups of campers under guidance from your session student leadership team. Um, if you're chosen as a specialist um, for one of the rotations that we have up at camp, like climbing, arts and crafts, archery, dance, or mountain biking, you'll learn a lot about that one activity and be able to lead it at camp for the week. Um, and next, we're going to cover why you should volunteer with team camp. Um, so for our new woodsies, which um, what we consider our new volunteers, um, you will have the opportunity to gain new skills, meet new people, and create change in the world. You can also become part of one of the largest communities on, on UCLA campus, and also having opportunities to step into leadership positions where you can enhance the camp experience for camper and volunteers. Um, and if you are someone who's already done Unicamp before and you're wondering, why should I come back to Unicamp? Um, we're always working on improving the camp experience for both counselors and specialists. Um, and so this year, we've already introduced some changes to the way camp is structured to enhance our impact both on and off of the UCLA campus. Um, this year, we're also focusing on an orientation toward co-creating the week of camp experience alongside volunteers as opposed to creating it for volunteers. Um, we also believe in Unicamp, not Unicession. So we're creating uh, more opportunities to network and build connections with volunteers from other sessions through all camp activities. Another one of our values at Unicamp is challenge by choice, um, which means that you're more than welcome and even encouraged to explore hobbies and interests which you never saw yourself doing um, through leading rotations, um, designing programs for your youth. Um, and there's a lot of community knowledge and lived experience, which supports us training for these things. Um, and uh, experienced woodsies have come from lots of different walks of life, um, but some are teachers, school counselors, behavioral health professionals, researchers, and, um, and a lot more. Um, we have a few questions for some of the leaders who joined us. Um, so, Mercury, why did you originally join Unicamp? Hey, um, I originally joined Unicamp actually because a friend recruited me. Um, her camp name was Lilo, um, and she was my big from, I was on a dance team before that. Um, and when I joined Unicamp, I was like an engineering major. I didn't really have like a sense of community yet, I guess, um, at UCLA. And Lilo highly recommended Unicamp, um, almost forced me to apply, honestly. Um, and yeah, she just always like presented it as like the best way to make friends, the best way to find community. I didn't even really know that I liked working with kids at that point. Um, but it's definitely, all of that has changed now, obviously, but that's why I joined. What are some of the skills um, that you've been able to practice and what are some of the skills that you've gained uh, as a Unicamp volunteer? Yeah, for sure. Um, so this is my third, fourth year in camp now. Um, yeah, my fourth year in camp. Uh, and I've gone from being a volunteer to being um, a head counselor to being a 
program director, whatever, bunch of titles. Um, but like, honestly, a lot of the skills I've learned outside of just like how to work with kids. Um, I've gained like a lot of self-confidence in my own leadership abilities. Public speaking is a huge one. Event planning as well. Um, like knowing how to just plan out a whole day time-wise um, and time management and stuff like that. Um, I also just think Unicamp has taught me a lot about, like you said, giving. Like it's kind of just changed my whole perspective on like my life and how I want to live my life in terms of like giving back as much as I possibly can, especially like without expecting return. Um, so I think Unicamp taught me a lot of skills and it's also taught me just a ton about myself as a person. Um, and I always say that like the reason um, that I'm still going, I guess, uh, is that Unicamp has given me like so much more than I've ever given back to it. So I just want to keep trying to get back to Unicamp as much as I can. I love that. Thanks so much. Um, I know we also have Melody with us. Um, Melody, I have a few questions for you. Why did you originally join Unicamp? I think Melody's having some service issues right now. But yes, we, but I am currently on. in a mountain. Um, so this might be breaking. Uh, what was the first question? Yeah, so why did you originally join Unicamp? Oh, so actually I joined kind of on a whim because I was walking back to the dorms from my class and I saw someone handing out flyers in a shark costume. And I was like, you know what they're cool for putting themselves out there like that and I kind of want to be part of a community that wanted that was willing to go like the extra step and be a little weird because I'm a little weird and I feel like joining the camp itself was one of the best de decisions that I've made yeah that's awesome um, and what are the some of the skills that you've gained and been able to practice as a student volunteer through Unicamp? I have definitely learned more how to be a leader. And like Mercury, it's just a lot of inner growth and like being able to advocate for myself, being able to be more open on public speaking, becoming way more organized than I was a few years ago, um, learning how to plan events and so on. So just being in camp in general, not only allows you to give like the opportunity to work with kids, but also work on yourself. That's awesome. Um, and why have you continued to come back to Unicamp? I love the sense of community and belonging that the organization provides to me. And like Mercury, it's given me so much more than I've been able to give it. And I think it's so important to give back to the community of kiddos that I basically came from as well. Um, at least for me, when I was younger, I wasn't able to do summer camp. So just like being a volunteer and being able to give them that chance is so amazing. So I can't see myself anywhere else. Beautiful. Thanks so much, Melody. So next, we're going to go over some of the application info. Um, so step one is to apply online at unicamp.org slash apply. Um, and keep in mind that while you're applying to be a part of Unicamp, uh, we want to welcome as many prospective volunteers as we can into the community. Uh, so don't feel pressured. It's more of a matching process to see which session will be the best fit for you. Um, some of the sessions that we have um, work directly with partner organizations that focus um, their work with specific populations and different communities throughout the LA area. In the past, we've worked with MAN UCLA Community School, um, Social Justice Humanitas Academy, the Village Nation, and a lot of other community-based organizations. So for step two, um, a leadership team member from one of your preferred sessions, which you will be able to indicate that in your application, 
So reach out to you to um, do an interview or just ask some more questions about your interest in youth camp. And then the last step um, is if you get accepted, um, your session leadership team will invite you to the first meeting, which will start in winter quarter week six. Um, just keep in mind that Unicamp operates with a continuous interview process while you are initially accepted. Um, your leadership team will be working with you throughout the training process to make sure you are developing the skills required to be a counselor. Um, and that is it for our app, uh, for our info session. If you have any if you have any questions or concerns, you can contact any of us. Our contact information is here. Um, and yeah, thank you for joining. Thanks for joining everyone.